Hi guys, uh, welcome back to BitPhoenix Labs. My name is David, I'm the product manager here and today I'm going to introduce to you the Colossus. Okay, we have now unpacked our Colossus and this is what it looks like in the flesh. This is the black version and uh, both the black and the white version is uh, coated with the BitPhoenix soft touch material. Uh, all the touch areas, such as the door, the top, uh, basically where you will usually put your hands, uh, is covered in this material. The soft touch, um, it resists fingerprints, uh, it feels nice to touch, and basically it also gives a much nicer luster to your chassis in a way that uh, the usual glossy plastic will never do. The door, uh, can open both ways. Uh, the hinges are movable. Uh, if you prefer to put your Colossus on the left, you rather want the door to open that way, it's no problem to switch the hinges over to the other side and the door will open that way. Now moving a little bit closer, uh, we're gonna take a look at the S3 and that's what's hiding underneath this cover here. Lots of useful stuff. Uh, we have all the I.O. inside. You have an eSATA port on the side here. In the back you have two super speed USB 3.0 ports. On the side you have two regular USB 2.0 ports and the audio. Also in the front here you have several controls. You have the usual reset button and power button. You also have a fan controller in the middle here. The fan controller controls the fan speeds of all the fans in this chassis. You have two light control buttons. Uh, one is for color changing and one is for color mode changing. If you turn it on, you'll see you can switch between blue lights and red lights. Blue and red. You can also turn it entirely off if you don't like lights on all the time, you want to watch a movie, go to sleep. There's also a uh, breathing light pulsating kind of mode for those of you who like that. But yet again, if you're not a big fan of light shows, turn it all off. And that's the S3 compartment. Now, another major function of the S3 is its security features. Uh, you can tuck things away inside and lock it. Uh, I will now open it to show you. I cannot open it. Why can I not open it? Well, boys and girls, it's because it has been locked. There you go. And inside uh, I have my portable hard drive. I'm right now uh, transferring some very, very secret files. I do not want anyone to touch it while I'm transferring. I want to lock it away. Now, another cool feature of the S3 system is the peripheral security. You can, for example, take a USB mouse, you connect it to the I.O. inside, and route the cable to the outside. After you close the lid, lock it, uh, no one will be able to steal your mouse. They can pull, 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 pull. Chances are they're going to destroy the mouse before they can get away with it. Now, after we have uh, installed our highly expensive and highly coveted gaming mouse, we secure it with the S3 lock. No one can pull the cable out. Now, on normal cases, if you're using the front I.O., this is what would happen. You have cables hanging in front of your uh, DVD drives and uh, they'll get caught up in the, the disc sled when you try to eject the disc and so on. That's why the Bitfinis Colossus has this external cable management feature. You basically, you just route the cables on the sides. It can exit out the bottom if you like it that way and you close the door and play 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 
Okay, everybody, that's the uh, Colossus for you. I will uh, end this by showing you a little bit what the Colossus looks like in the dark. Uh, red lights, always on. Blue lights, always on. Uh, all the lights off, if you prefer that. And finally, the pulse mode. Pulsating blue and pulsating red. This is uh, David from BitPhoenix signing off in the dark and I will see you next time.